I'm Katie Minocci. I'm a senior from Westside High School. And I'd like to offer a trigger warning for my piece um, for suicide. And the title of my piece is On My Bad Days. On my worst, my worst days are not found in a text message where I ask for help. They're in a pill bottle resting at the bottom of my closet full of unfinished prescriptions where managing has become just too hard again. They're in voicemails from the pharmacy. A tech on the phone reminds me that I don't have any more refills, so I need to see my doctor soon. It's so stupid to not just ask for help. It's the same thing I said when my dad tried to end his life for the second time that year. It's so stupid to not just ask for help. I'm eight years old. My dad lays in bed next to my mom. He has just downed a bottle of pills. With a hearty goodbye to my mother and a kiss on my cheek, they dissolve in his stomach. When I find out what he did, I tell myself that the reason he must have tried to leave was because I was not enough to get him to stay. I am almost an adult now, and I still think the reason my dad tried to kill himself was because I didn't love him enough. When my parents got a divorce, I told my mom I would make myself his reason to stay. I would choose his happiness over mine, tell myself that this is what raising a child, I mean, being a child must be. My worst days are not worth it. They're when I feel like an absolute failure for forgetting to do the dishes. And now the sink is full of my failures and I feel like I'm standing in everyone's way. My hardest days, the ones where my legs drag and my hands shake, my mind wanders back to the bottle of pills nestled in the bottom of my closet. I'm reminded of how it would be so much easier to just stop trying. The idea of being done sounds so good, I almost do it. But I always stop because I am more than my father. I am not going to make other people feel as though their love wasn't enough to keep me here. I know how it feels. My best days are the reason I'm still here. They're the ones when I don't get tired, when I'm driving and laughing, it feels good again. My best days my best days are the ones when I'm managing with everything that makes me feel like I'm stuck. It makes me feel like I'm stuck. Coping is all that there's left to do. Trying my best, getting out of bed, showering, it's all I have left. And I have learned from the worst of my days that it can only get better. And that's a comforting thought. 